What's up guys, welcome back to Studio 64. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can paint your very own custom camos onto your Lego figures. By the way guys, if you're new around here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button for loads more content like this, and let's get into the video. So when I'm making my camos, there are two different options I have, depending on what sort of effect I want to get out of the camo. The first one is to use multiple different colors to get your effect. For example, you could use these colors, or if you're going for more like earth tones, just choose like brown, green, and tan or something. Or you can choose your main color and then use white and black to lighten and darken the paint so you get different tones. So that's what I did on my commander coral custom and yeah using the different shades of blue really worked on this but yeah it doesn't always work but yeah so i'm going to show you how you can mix up your colors to make a really nice camo and then a big thing you guys always ask me is how i do my camo around the printing and markings and stuff i'll show you how to do that after i've done that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some green paint into three of these palettes in the corner and then i'm going to add a little bit of black paint to one of them and a little bit of white paint to one of them add more or less depending on how high the contrast you want the camo to be just so it's easier and the paint doesn't dry out so quickly okay so now we have our paint mixed up i'm going to show you how to apply it onto your figures. So I'm going to apply it to this guy, he's been in my video before and yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to add camo to his helmet. So this one's a bit complicated, it's got the markings and the printing so I need to work around those so yeah I'm going to show you how to do that. So I got my figure on a random body here so I don't accidentally get any paint on the rest of the figure and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one of the colours and I'm just going to start applying it quite near to where the printing is. So what you want to do is with your printing and stuff you're going to want to get as close as you can and I would recommend doing your markings first. So if you have colored markings, like painting them on, I would recommend doing them first so you can work around them. I just find that easier. So you can see that I've come up really close to the printing here. And yeah, I've got a tiny bit on there. It's not really visible, but I'll show you how to fix those mistakes in a bit. So I've just added a patch of that color there. And then I'm going to use a different color and start adding a bit more. So you can see that I accidentally got a bit of paint on my markings there. But like I said, I'll show you how to fix these later. And then finally, I'm going to get my really light color and just add a bit more. And basically, I'm just going to repeat this process over the whole helmet. And yeah, I'll time lapse this and show you when I'm done. So with these really small printing marks here, once you've had the camo, you don't really need them. So I'd just recommend painting over them. Maybe I can add that on a bit later just with some normal paint. But yeah, keep the visor and the markings obviously, but everything else you can just paint over. And then for some reason, my phone storage just filled up and I couldn't record anymore. So I went and had a snack and now I'm going to carry on. Okay, so I've completed my camo for this helmet and now I just need to let the paint dry and then I can show you how to fix all the markings and stuff. So what I'm gonna do first to fix these mistakes is I'm gonna take all of the paint off of the visor. So I'm gonna do this with a toothpick. It's really simple. All you gotta do is like really lightly scratch away on the paint and it should come off really easily. Okay, so that's looking really, really nice on the visor. And now I just need to fix these yellow bits. So I'm just gonna get the original paint I used to paint these markings on and just paint over what I've done. So there are my markings all fixed up. And now I just need to let the paint dry. So here is the helmet done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you for another one very soon. 